good afternoon. Thank you all for being here. I'm so honored to be standing here with all of you today to celebrate Pride. I want to start by thanking all of our elected officials for being here today, Governor Dan McKee, Secretary of State, who is not here yet, Attorney General Peter Narona, Council President Jessica Vega, Councilwoman, I think some of, oh, Councilwoman Glendalise Colon, Judge Joseph Molina Flynn, our keynote speaker, Ashley Delgado, and all of you. We've come a long way, my friends. It's an honor to have our highest ranking officials here supporting us. I'm not standing here today because it's Pride Month. I'm standing here because I truly love our LGBTQ plus community and it's important for us to be inclusive. You show us a kind of love that many don't know about. A special love, a caring love, a no limits love, a love that I admire. I'm so lucky to live in a city where I proudly hired the first openly gay judge, Joseph Molina Flynn. Our Parks and Recs director, who is also openly gay, Alberto Rivas. And other LGBTQ plus staff across our city. I want to tell my niece and her girlfriend that I'm proud of what they've accomplished and want you to know that I will always have your back. To be standing here today with our leaders, staff, our youth, I have hope. I have hope that soon enough, others will not judge, but support our LGBTQ plus community. I want you to know that under my administration, discrimination or judgment will not be tolerated. And please know that you have my full support. Happy Pride Month. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass it over to Governor Dan McKee. It, Mayor, it looks like you're working hard and talking uh, to many people, but you uh, made it through that uh, wonderful uh, introduction on um, the Pride uh, flag raising ceremonies right here in, in Central Falls. So I want to thank Mayor Rivera and uh, for bringing us together here today, and of course the Attorney General Nerona and Council President Vega and um, and all the leaders and Secretary of State who's just showing up now. So welcome. You know, I'm glad to be here in person this year celebrating. Uh, I know that uh, many of these activities didn't happen in person last year, but this is a reflection of where we are in terms of making sure we're keeping everybody nice and safe. And now we can open up. And as a former mayor, I know how important uh, flag raisings are in our communities. Uh, they send an important message uh, about our community values and commitment. That's why I'm honored to be here today in Central Falls raising the pride flag as a strong symbol of support, inclusion, and equality. In Rhode Island, in my office, we're proud to stand with the LGBTQIA community in pursuit of equality for all. And in our state, we continue to strive to create a culture of understanding and a culture of hope. In light of the continued attacks of members of our community, uh, especially the BIPOC community, we have uh, ever more reason to be inclusive, ever more reason to be unified in our efforts. We're committed to treating people equally with fairness and respect, and it should be everyone's goal uh, to be an ally. As I look around today, I see so many passionate advocates and powerful allies who are inspiring the future of Rhode Island. It fills me with hope that change isn't just coming to our state, it's here because of our leadership from each and every one of you. You're not the leaders of tomorrow, you're leading right now at this very moment. You're standing for change and giving a voice to those who until recently did not have a voice. And while there's certainty certainly work to be done is the passion and advocacy from the people here today and the people across the state that will continue to move that work ahead and be the change that we all aspire to see. So happy uh, Pride Month. Thank you for having me here at the Center Falls today. With that, I'll, I'll hand it off to our Secretary of State. 
Good afternoon, everyone. Buenas tardes. Uh, so I ran to be your Secretary of State because I wanted to make government work for everyone. And that means no matter where you're from, what your race or ethnicity might be, how you identify, who you love. Um, and many times in my career, I have been the only one. Although sometimes people didn't always know that, right? Because people have their own stereotypes about what certain groups should look like or, or express like. And um, what's great about seeing, being seen as the other is that you develop a lot of empathy for many others. And I think it's what really is at the core of why I'm here today. Um, it's, it's why I connect so strongly with members of the community that's very proudful, not just this month, but every single day of the year. Um, it's this, the pride movement understands that everyone deserves equal rights, dignity, and the ability to celebrate your individuality, who you are as a person, who your culture is. And I hope that we will live in a society where that's not a novel concept for some people, but just the way we do things. Pride has made so much progress uh, moving us towards that, and, and moving us in that direction, and, and, and helping us take a real active positive stance against discrimination and violence towards the LGBTQ plus community. As your Secretary of State, I'll let you in on um, a way that you can keep this momentum going. And it's by absolutely engaging every single time you can in exercising your right to vote. In exercising a right to vote that brings about change. Because that's where change starts in our government. And so every election, whether it be a special election or a big election, please, please, please make sure that not only you, but everyone around you exercises that right. Harvey Milk uh, once said that, and I quote, hope will never be silent. Prove him right. Go to vote.ri.gov, register to vote, make sure that you verify your information there, um, and then tell your friends and family to do the same and make your voices heard. Go to the open, uh, uh, web, uh, open Meetings website on our Secretary of State website. Look for those meetings of government and make yourself heard through participation in our civic life. Better yet, serve on a board of commission or run for office. Those are the ways in which we can absolutely fundamentally change the structures that we have that are barriers to some and keep us from being the best we can be as a community. Thank you, and uh, I'm, I'm, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, and I wanna thank Maria Rivera and Council President uh, Jessica Vega uh, for inviting me to be a part of this. And also, it's a pleasure to be with the governor and the uh, attorney general uh, and in sharing this wonderful moment of pride with all of you. Thank you. Peter Nerona. <laughs> Thank you, Secretary. That's you know, the, the, what do they call us, the chorus line? Just going one after the other is always a lot of fun. Uh, I want to recognize my, my uh, fellow members of government, beginning with, with the governor, of course. Thank you, Governor Ricky. It's always good to be with you. Secretary of State Corbea, also President Vega, and of course, Mayor Rivera. I'm so pleased to be able to use those two words together. Mayor Rivera has been a friend for a long time, and when I was running for office, really embraced me from the beginning and has been such a good friend and partner, uh, doing such great work for Central Falls. It's great to be back in Central Falls. I spent a lot of time here, not as much as I would have liked in the last year, but it's great to be back, and it's great to be back for flag raising, for pride, for the LGDP, LGBTQ plus community. Um, and I will tell you that I've marched on a lot of parades now as an elected official, but there is none better than the pride parade. Um, and I know we're going to get that kicked off again. It's really important to have those parades, to have the flag raisings, because it brings attention to taking pride uh, in, in this community and the diversity of our state and of our country and why uh, bringing attention to that diversity, understanding why that's such a positive for our country is really, really important. Equally important is the work. Equally important is the work. In fact, I would argue even more important is the work. 
Uh, and I'm really proud of the work we've been able to do in my administration as Attorney General to advocate for and protect the rights of the civil rights of communities that have been targeted for far too long. We are on trial right now in a case in Washington County, County, and where it is alleged that we are trying to prove that a family of four was targeted because of their race. That work is really important. Uh, and there are more and more cases like that that the office is bringing, and I expect we will have to bring, and we are prepared to bring, till everyone understands, everyone understands that the diversity that we are standing for here today is incredibly important to our success as a state and as a nation. So I'm committed to doing that work in partnership with all of you. It's great to be here today for a flag raising. We're gonna keep doing the work. We're gonna keep acknowledging the strength of our diversity. And it's great to be a partner with you in all of that. So thank you very much. And I believe it is my distinct privilege now to introduce Council Pre President Jessica Vega. Thank you so much. Um, I just want to acknowledge that this is a pretty powerful moment and it's not in too many states or cities that we see both leaders at the state and local level coming together for pride to celebrate the LGBTQ community. So I want to make sure that we acknowledge this, this powerful moment. And of course, I want to thank everyone who is up here. I don't want to forget any names, but Governor McKee, Secretary of State, um, Golbea, Attorney General Narone, and of course, um, our mayor, who just like uh, our Attorney General, is pretty incredible to say, Mayor Mar Maria Rivera. <laughs> I am so excited to see everyone come together for another flag raising. This is something that 50, 20, 10 years ago would have never been, would have never been possible. The LGBT community has gone through so many trials and turbulation. Still, they've made tremendous strides in the areas of film, openly gay politicians and community leaders, and being able to wed. And they continue to challenge the status quo and push against cultural wars that are purposely made to isolate them and view them as other or less deserving. I think my favorite part about Pride is that it embodies liberation and joy. People are taking a stance to express love and being able to love who they want to love. And there's something very beautiful and powerful in living in your authentic self. Thank you. Also, before I go, um, I'm really excited to introduce our new our keynote speaker, Ashley Delgado. Thank you. Before we raise the flag, I want to give the opportunity to our judge to say a few words. I don't have the benefit of having a prepared speech, but uh, I'll try. It's an honor to be here in the presence of the statewide leaders as well as Mayor Maria Rivera, who has done so much to advance uh, the city forward and Council President uh, Jessica Vega as well. Um, I was born in Colombia, a country which was not and is not very receptive to the gay community. And it is an extreme honor to stand here before you today as a municipal court judge in Central Falls, living in my truth as an openly gay married man with my husband by my side. I wanna thank Ashley for pointing out the flag. That was actually the first thing that I noticed when I walked in was that it's not just our typical rainbow pride flag, but it's trans inclusive. And that's what we need to do. We need to continue to push our community forward so that these things become the norm and so that we don't exclude people, but continue to bring people in. Again, I am extremely grateful to Mayor Maria Rivera for giving me the honor to serve in this capacity for being able to show people that you can live in your truth no matter what it is. Uh, and for giving me the opportunity to give you these couple of minutes today. Thank you so much.
Isn't it beautiful? I just, I have some citations, Ashley. That's a citation to thank you for your participation and for your continued advocacy for the community. Thank you. Ashley, this is the first time I've heard you speak, um, but I could see why Mayor Rivera chose you as a keynote speaker. That's really amazing, especially the fact that you were able to give resources to everyone who's watching today. Thank you so much for your advocacy and for your work. It feels nice to be able to hug people. Thank you, Governor. <laughs> This concludes our event today. I want to thank you all again for being here and happy Pride. Let's continue loving and celebrating our community. Thank you.